Okay, everybody. This is a key question and answer video. And the two, one, then I'm going to have a couple other things to say if I have time. If not, watch for round two. Okay. The first one comes from my, my best friend, Tiffany Nicole Allison. Uh, or Nikki Allison, as I call her. Or I just call her Nikki, but there you go. Okay, the her first question is, do you think it's right that the for fathers that do not take care of their children to tell them to tell the mothers who are trying to protect their children from certain people and things to sign over their rights? You know what, Nikki? No, I don't think that's right. So, what's so friggin' ever? So, with, with, honestly, I know this dude, well, from what I do know of him, and from the way he treated, the way he treated you, and take, and him trying to take everything, and sign, basically, nigga, take from him everything you can, and sign over not a dang thing. I mean, he is a fr freaking addict and a junkie. When I tell y'all, when y'all were together hitting, from what I can remember, you tell me, he didn't work very much. And I know I don't work that much, but hey, I ain't got a family to feed, and well, there you go. And best I can remember, he sat on the couch playing video games and you were yelling at him for being lazy. Well I mean I, I mean I have no room to talk not working every day, but well, like I said, I don't have a family to feed. So I'm now now, when I get to do it a family and everything like that, I am going to pick up the workforce that I do. And I, you know I have a huge problem with him. Your ex-husband or soon-to-be ex-husband. Well, I'm not sure, because I'm not, I'm saying I'm not sure the divorce is finalized yet, because I don't, I don't think it is, but there you go. The problem, one of the problems I have with him is... People out there in YouTube, tell me this: What kind of man, when his, when your wife, or girlfriend, or soon-to-be fiance is bawling her friggin' eyes out, you do not comfort her? Tell me, what kind of man is that? I mean, that ain't a man; that's a boy. And well, another problem I have with him is well, he tried to take my best friend away from me, and well, he did a pretty good job of that for about six friggin' months. Then, well, he screwed up majorly, pissed her off, and thus now you are getting a divorce. So there you go, and look who's right, look who's uh still in contact and who ain't. So there you go, Joe. <laughs> and well another thing I have honestly nigga when he and I first spoke on the telephone his voice dropped about he did a fair uh, hang on when he and I first spoke on the telephone after about a minute and a half and honestly I think that's after you walked out of the room his voice dropped about 10 octaves now, I'm not sure how puberty works exactly, but I'm sure when you're 18, your voice has already been dropped for a couple of years. But, there you go. No, to me, he was vocally bowing up at me, which, that's one reason I did not like him, because well, to me, that's a sign of disrespect, so there you go. Now, the one time I spoke to Mario, well, he, honestly, Joe vocally bowed up to me like a little boy. Now, the one time I spoke to your fiancé, Mario, well, he spoke to me like a polite, 
respond nice and polite like a man. He's honestly he's about ten times better, y'all. He's about ten times better than this Joe dude. I mean, he's about ten times the man he'll Joe will ever be. And what? Long story short, Nikki, don't sign over Jack Diddley squat to Joe. I mean, unless it's finalizing the divorce, then sign away, sign away, sign away. But sign away, no rights to anything. All right. Well, that's that one. Nikki, hope that answered that question. But sign nothing to him. Okay. Okay, question number two. Should I, she asks, should I move to Nashville and start my start my singing career? Yes, definitely you should. Then take Joe to the cleaners and get the uh, lawyers at the record label. I mean, law lawyers at the record label to basically Take him to the cleaners. I mean, one well, minute. Take him, take him to the cleaners with the lawyers from the record label and basically clean him out. Because, well, he deserves it. I mean, you know, I've been telling you that you need to go to Nashville since the very first time I've heard you sing. Well, the second time, because you were hoarse and sick as the very first time. Nate, you know that. So. But. You're still awesome when you're hoarse, so there you go. Okay, since the very first time I heard you sing, and I think you need to wait oh, about a month so you can be 21 and not have any problem playing bars because well, you know you're going to turn 21 in about a month or a little less. But And yes, I do know what your birthday is, but <laughs> I'm not good at math, so I know it's about a month. Okay, or playing bars or honky tonks, and you need to get a good lawyer and to check out the contract to make sure it's in your favor. Cause Nashville is n n notoriously crooked. For I mean, you know my opinion on Nashville. You do. Cause I think it's way too political. That's just me. If you now, I think you could thrive there, because your voice, nobody would take give you crap. So there you go. Anyway, sign and be careful, because because that's what you are supposed to sign and be careful, because that's what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, the fact that you have that God-given gift in your throat. And well, long story short, yes, go to Nashville. And if on some weekends, come down to Memphis, you know. <laughs> when you ain't got the kids, uh, you know, you know, come down and see your old buddy. Come see your old buddy Lance sometime, you know. Okay. So yes, sign. Okay. And a little something to your sister-in-law about your soon-to-be sister-in-law, which I'm gonna, about about what you told me uh, about what you told me. I know y'all aren't exactly seeing eye to eye right now. All I gotta say is one thing. Well, I know you and her ain't exactly fans of each other, but well, she's a hater. Haters are gonna hate. And nigga, remember one thing: people throw rocks at things at pit, things that shine. So, girl, keep shining. Okay. Okay, I got the wrong one. Okay. No, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So, all right. I want to thank a tr a, fa a subscriber of mine. I want to thank Lowdown King. Sorry about that. I want to thank you for owning that troll who was harassing me. And well, I thought he was 
I thought your your response to him was freaking hilarious. And you're right, he is. What would you call? But I don't want you. I don't like using that kind of language in my videos. But that was hilarious. And I want to say a one little special. I want to say a special. Yeah, I got time. I want to say a special thank you to the people who uh, watch and support my videos from my friends. From my friend who does not want to be named on YouTube, so I'll respect that. To Jez, to Earl, and to Annie Guy TM. So, this is y'all should go check him out. To Lowdown King, I know I'm forgetting a bunch of people, but I'm so and I'm sorry about that. But I just want to say everybody who supports me on on YouTube and on uh, and on Facebook, thank you. I appreciate it. Hope I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.